let's try to move the camera a little bit more this way. Uh-huh. Right there, we'll pop it out a little bit. Oh, okay. I thought, I don't know, I thought the idea sounded cool because we're all women trying to make it in the entertainment industry, so it was kind of, we all know how hard it is firsthand. And also I think it's just such a, um, a new like topic that really relates to the world right now. And it's, it has to do with, um, I think everyone can kind of relate to this, no matter, like even if you're not in this field, I think this is something that happens in every field that um, a lot of women have to deal with. And I think all the characters are really interesting and funny and different, so it's yes. just, yeah. in general, interesting to watch. Like on TV now, you see a lot of, these, of breaking the glass happening. Mm-hmm. So it's it's in the process, but it's not quite reached where it can be and where it should be. All those connections wanted to do was just get me in the damn sack. Oh, there has to be a better way. I believe that if you work hard, your talent will show and you will get somewhere. Yeah, you know what? Well, maybe in another world. Face it. The media industry, especially film and television, is the last glass ceiling. You know, you know this is actually my first film. So I was, um, and when I saw it, I was very interested in being a part of it. And I saw the previous work, you know, with Ed and me, and I was really impressed. So this is definitely something that I wanted to be a part of. And, you know, this is a good first look for me, I think. Yeah, man, we got a with the sun. We got lights, the big sun thing over there. We got a million extras. We got, like, a lot of, like, you know. Um, This is our first day on set, and it's been a very long day. But we finally found a location, and we're just getting set up, and um, soon I'll do my hair and makeup, and then we'll be ready to go. Hopefully everything goes well. So we're prepping the girls at the moment. That way we can start shooting. <laughs> so we're going to see how everything, and I'm going to let you know where to... Like where everything to fix, like set a um, certain um, sentence, and I will let you know where to pose, where to go higher, where to go lower. All right. I read for Annabelle. Did you guys? I read for I I read for London. Um, (laughs) I can relate to London. I don't think London is you know just like. I feel like this blanket statement bitch is kind of like, you know, she's definitely like bitchy, she's sassy, but I think she's really witty and clever and smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't yeah. think it's, I don't think it's in like a vicious way. I think it's just in kind of like, I mean, I think it's endearing. And yeah, so I did go in for London originally. My audition was a cold read. I was mm. just given the sides, but um, so yeah, immediately I could kind of see where she was coming from and it mm-hmm. wasn't in like kind of a cruel way. Um, I think her like sassiness is just in just, that's just her and that's right. how she sees the world. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, Short of dressing up like a boy, you did say we could make a change, right? No, I said we can't change things. No, but we can. We can. I, we just have to think like men. What are you talking about? Well, you said it yourself, either grow a penis or start a production company. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was actually a replacement, um, <laughs> and <laughs> I knew the DP, and he actually called me up and he's like, hey, Laura. By the way, I'm doing a shoot, and the character is you six months ago. So could you please come in? <laughs> and it's yeah. completely parallel mentally. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, but but we'll figure it out. Maybe London can help us get us a loan. Don't be You said you wished things were different, so let's make them different. Men succeed in this business because they stick together, while women chase men around hoping to make it. It was one line for Misha, and they're like, she's really awkward and mousy, and, okay. (laughs) So, that was that one line. (laughs) To make connections, and at the end of the day, guess what? All those connections really wanted to do was get me in a damn set. It's only been like, a f- like we've had rehearsals and only like a two days of shooting really for me. But I think yeah. like it. it's been a long day and it's it's such a like there's some there's a lot of pressure and mm-hmm. stress. And I think when you go through that with anyone, no matter how well you know them, at the end of that there is going to be some sort of oh yeah, it's yeah. automatic. Yeah. it's inevitable to happen that you get a certain level of you know bonding. Yeah. Well, well, if you're all trying to create something together. That puts you and you have single people. people. And we're all super yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, nobody's like yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> because when he drove fast, if he's um No lines, no lines, she's just Yeah. But I'll be right there. I'll be yeah. right there and she just because right. I say that after yeah. I get up pretty much. Okay, so I'll get there. So okay. I'm, I'm from here. Good. So last shot of the day? Or the night? It's good.
coming out good so far. Waiting for the next um to set up the shot. I think it's gonna be a good thing today. That's our second day. So tomorrow is gonna be the third day for the big scene. It'll be all right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really it, it's really interesting sometimes to watch him try to um, like tell us these huge ideas, and you can tell that he's really thought about it and really like mm -hmm. pictured every little detail, exactly. and he knows what he wants it to look like, and he won't quit until it looks like that, mm -hmm. which I, I really respect. And it doesn't matter how many takes or how many different things you need to move. He's and he is gonna get it the way he wants. He's patient, patient. and, and he's blunt to too. Well, like I said, this is my first experience, so it gave me some experience and working with different people and. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty much it. Just hope that I get, you know, my next gig is a cool cast yeah. like these ladies because they've set the bar here now. So hopefully I don't walk into something and deal with, you know, cranky, grumpy, little, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this has been like an experience. amazing experience yeah. in terms of the way everyone got along. Mm -hmm. There was no, yes. there was no bickering on set. Everyone was really yes. like on point, just doing their jobs and having fun while doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't stressful at all. Yeah, it went pretty smoothly. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I'm hoping that this is how it is all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wishful thinking, but yeah. <laughs>